Statistics show how many Black Lives America's police officers save. And as one of America's Pearson Sharp explains, he also d details how police have saved lives. Every year, tens of thousands of crimes are prevented thanks to the work of our police force. Criminals are kept off the streets and out of our homes thanks to police officers just doing their job. Lives are saved, all because we have police out there to protect us. But now, the police need our protection. Because of lies told by the radical left and the mainstream media, they're in danger of being defunded or even abolished. And if the police are in danger, so are we. First of all, data shows most officers aren't just trigger-happy cops going after minorities. According to research from the Justice Department and others, blacks or Hispanic officers are much more likely to shoot unarmed black suspects than white officers. In fact, a study from the National Criminal Justice Reference Service found that police were 25 times more likely to shoot an unarmed person if they were white, not black. Another study found that on top of cops being less likely to shoot unarmed black suspects, they also took longer to shoot suspects if they were black than if they were white. Even when a professor from Harvard analyzed over a thousand officer-involved shootings, he found in places like Houston, blacks were 24% less likely to be shot than whites, even if they were armed or violent. Combined with his other data, the professor concluded there is zero evidence of police bias in shootings. It just doesn't exist. But going deeper, it turns out that it's very rare for police to actually use force during an encounter. Far from what you hear in the media or from radical groups like Black Lives Matter, over 99% of arrests use no force at all. And according to a 2018 study from the Journal of Trauma and Acute Care, when police do use force, 98% of the time, there's no physical harm. But the biggest problem by far isn't even police violence, but black on black crime. 2018 data from the FBI shows that out of 2,900 black homicides, 2,600 were committed by black people, meaning nearly 90% of all blacks murdered were murdered at the hands of other black people. That's more than all white and Hispanic homicide victims combined. Where are the Black Lives Matter protesters over these deaths? Black kids in Chicago get killed every single day. Where is the Black Lives Matter in Chicago? Where are they? Even if the radical leftists and the violent extremists in Black Lives Matter got their wish and there were suddenly no cops in America tomorrow, it would have almost no impact on black deaths nationwide. And in reality, police are the most dedicated government organization in the U.S. fighting to protect black lives. Policing efforts that began in the 90s dramatically lowered inner city murder rates and has actually saved tens of thousands of black lives. For example, this black man here, a father of a young daughter, wouldn't be alive today if officers in Newark, New Jersey, hadn't been there to rescue him from jumping into the river. In Bridgeport, Connecticut, this February, police rushed to the scene and rescued this woman from her burning car. Police also saved this baby boy in Kissimmee, Florida, who last October was choking on a cracker and owes his life to police officers who his mother says were in the right place at the right time. What if Kissimmee had decided to get rid of their police force? And last October, police in Newark also rescued this 13-year-old African-American boy from committing suicide. Without police to save him, his young life would have ended that day. Whatever's on your mind, we listening, man. We listening. As a citizen and still current resident of Newark, I saw myself basically as a young child that needed help. And that's what we're here for. People understand that, but it's more than just a uniform. All these people and countless others had their lives literally saved by police just doing their jobs. We owe it to our nation, our communities, our neighborhoods, our loved ones to protect the police because without them, there's no one protecting us. For One American News, I'm Pearson Sharp. Want to see more videos like this? Click on the link below and subscribe to One American News on YouTube and call your cable provider and kindly demand that One American News is added to your lineup. Call and subscribe today.